Hello, my friend. Today we will be doing part two of an experiment that I did for HB10. The first half of the experiment, we mixed DecoArt's Ultimate Glow with five Liquitex colors, a white, a blue, a red, a purple, and a pink. And we tested out to see how much it would glow or how little it would glow. And for this half, we are going to do the same thing, but with apple barrel colors. These ones are a little bit lighter and I believe they're fully opaque. So it's going to be very interesting to see the difference. I have to mix some of the colors and then I will be back to mix the pink in front of you. Now that I have mixed my other four colors, I'm going to do this pink. Um, these colors, this one is actually princess pink. Then we've got princess purple, candy apple, electric blue, and plain old white. Um, the last video that I did, I did a one-to-one -one ratio for most of the colors, meaning I did one teaspoon of glow-in-the-dark to one teaspoon of the color. There were a couple, I uh, believe it was the pink and the red. I did a two to one ratio um, in the previous video. So for these apple barrel colors, I decided to jump the gun and I did a two to one ratio for all of them, uh, meaning two teaspoons of the glow in the dark to one teaspoon of the color. Except for this candy red, um, it seemed a lot darker in comparison to the other colors, so I added in a half a teaspoon more. So we'll see what that gets us for this princess pink. We will do a two to one ratio. I will add it. I think I will do it. I'll probably just speed up the footage, but for now I'll film it as is. Before, I was going to use the popsicle stick that I had here on set, but I forgot that I got these really nifty mixing spoons. And I can use the back side, it's just about the same size as a um, popsicle stick. Except, I can rinse it off and wipe it off. And continue to use it again. Trying to make less waste. Good as new. Now that our colors are mixed, I will be able to paint the glass. I'm gonna go in the same order that I did before. So this will be the pink, the purple, and so on. This spot here, this panel, I already did fully in the glow in the dark. It has about five coats. So we're not gonna worry about painting that. I'm gonna do it as a hyperlapse. I had to do, um, I think, four of some coats and then five of some of the others. So I will, I'll still stop after coat number one to show you what it looks like and then I'll go from there. But I'll most likely do four to five coats of the colors. We are completely dry for this first layer, and they are all very thin. So I have high hopes that these are gonna glow really well. I think I will do two more coats before deciding to do more, and then we'll see what it looks like. I'm really excited. I think these are gonna glow a lot better than the other, the other half.
I have done four coats for each of the colors and once this dried I let it sit for about 45 minutes in the lights so we are going to do our glow test. I am pretty happy with the opaqueness of all these colors. Most of them are much, much lighter than the first color. But this red seems like it's almost the same shade. So I hope we have a different result. So without further ado, I'm going to turn off all the lights. Let's actually start with the red. I'm going to turn off all the lights and we'll do our test. Well, the bottle of Ultimate Glow is glowing pretty bright. Let's get that out of there. The other colors looked like they were okay. The red here on top, the purple, the pink. The red glowed a bit at first, now not glowing at all. These ones still got some color. The glow itself is still glowing real well. White was great. And this blue is definitely glowing a lot better. The purple and the pink off camera are still glowing a smidge. The pink, the new pink is better than the Liquitex pink. It looks like the purple, both Liquitex and Apple Barrel are still glowing, um, both about the same. This blue, the Apple Barrel blue is definitely better. The white looks about the same. I think the Liquitex might be a little brighter in person. Very, very interesting. Now last time I did a quick charge up for the colors with my black light flashlight. So I'm gonna do that just to see um, a little bit more on hand how bright the colors will be if they were charged up that way. One moment, I'm gonna flip this upside down. Big difference. All the colors have their own unique glow. The red is still the first to fade, but it faded a little bit with uh, not as quickly as it did before. So the trick, I guess, really is definitely lighter, lighter colors and probably opaque, as opaque as possible. Compared to the other video, this glow test was more of a success. The colors still did not glow as long as I wanted them to, but the results were definitely headed in the right direction. So you're gonna want these colors to be as light as possible, as opaque as possible, and perhaps just up the glow portion. So for these, I did a two to one ratio, perhaps maybe do three to four if the color is darker. Like this red, it just did not glow at all. Like only with the black light, and even then it was not very long. So keep that in mind with whatever your project is. And HB10, I hope that this video was exactly what you wanted it to be. If you have other questions, please reach out to me and let me know. I thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a magical day.